Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today. I'm going to be teaching you how to add mods to your Minecraft server. Now I am assuming that you already have a Forge server set up in Minecraft 1.16.2. If you don't, there is a link at the eye at the top of your screen as well as a link in the description down below and a link at the end of this video. So there are three ways to get to our Forge tutorial for setting up a server. You must have a Forge server in order to add mods to a Minecraft 1.16.2 server. If you don't have a Forge server, you can't add mods to your server, but it's very, very simple to do and very, very easy. And the easiest and simplest place to set up a Forge server is at Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own Forge server in Minecraft 1.16.2. It is just a few clicks. It's simple. It's easy. And then on top of that, you can add mods to your server via their web interface quickly and easily. It is amazing. We love Apex so much that we have our own server. Played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Forge server in the easiest way possible, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown dot XYZ slash Apex. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video but nonetheless here we are with 1.16.2 forge server this is here it's already set up we've got our forge server up and running and most notably you should have a mods folder in your server right here you should have a mods folder if you don't have a mods folder in your server it will not work right it's just not going to you need to have a mods folder in your server or it's not going to work it's not a forge server if you don't have a mods folder there you will also need forge installed locally we do have a tutorial on that. You can find our Forge tutorial linked in the description down below. Here it is. This is our in-depth guide to getting Forge set up. You must have Forge installed locally and have a Forge Minecraft server set up in order to get mods on your server. So again, to get this working, you need a Forge server, which you can find linked in the description down below, and you need to have Forge installed locally, which you can also find linked in the description down below. So you got to go through kind of two videos to be able to then use this video on your server and get it up and running and all that stuff. Once you've done that, you've set your Forge server up and you've gotten Forge installed here, we can start downloading mods. Now, there are a ton of different 1.16.2 mods. We're going to be using three mods today. The first one is just enough items. This is going to allow you to easily see all the different items Minecraft has in-game, and if they're added from mods, they're going to be in just enough items. I'd recommend every modded server having this just because it makes playing so much easier and a lot more streamlined. All of these mods are linked in the description down below so go down there check it out. When you click on the links it'll take you to a page that looks like this or you can scroll down and click on this yellow download just enough items button. As you can see here you can see all the different items on the right hand side and you can see their crafting recipes by clicking on them. A must have mod again for modded servers. Now to download the 1.16.2 version you want to come over here to the right hand side scroll down until you see the Minecraft 1.16 section and then under that we have have it just enough items and it says 1.16.2 that means it's the correct version go ahead and click on that purple download link to the right of that and it will go ahead and start downloading after a few seconds the download will begin and in the bottom left we will need to keep the file for on google chrome or save it on mozilla firefox next up is storage drawers and as you can see it adds in all sorts of cabinets and drawers and different looking even stone drawers and things like that for you to store your items in in minecraft it's really really cool it can make organizing chests and storage areas so much better and so much more like fun to be honest so I would recommend this mod if you just want to kind of add new furniture that's actually got some utility use because again all these door different storage drawers are added you can see all the different ones here there's all sorts of awesome stuff I, I love it. it it's a really really cool mod that's just a simple mod but should be added in my opinion and it looks like 66 million downloads agree with me on that but nevertheless let's come over here to the right hand side scroll down until we see one minecraft 1.16 and then we'll see storage drawers dash 1.16.2 right there we can then click on the purple download button to the right of that. And I guess what? It's going to go ahead and take us back off to this page here where after a few seconds we need to keep or save it depending on our browser. Keep it in the bottom left and now we're good. Now last but not least, I'm going to install the Gravestones mod. And as the name implies, to be honest, once you're here, by the way, link in the description, scroll down, click that yellow download button. But as the name implies, it adds gravestones to Minecraft. So you can see gravestones, it does have the player name on them. And these can be actually mined with Silk Touch to be able to create your own graveyards. You can also rename them with name tags and all sorts of awesome stuff like that. So it's just a really, really cool and unique mod. And I'm sorry, you can actually rename them in an anvil, not with a name tag. That's my bad. But nevertheless, there you go. You can add custom names, all of that stuff. Really, really cool, really, really simple mod. And just like the others, you want to come to the right-hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16. Find the 1.16.2 version there and then click on the purple download button to the right of that where it's going to take you off and start the download. This mod also gives you a, you know, list of your items that you die with whenever you respawn. That way you can kind of see, hey, do I want that or not? It also has your locations. So if this is added to a server like this, you can actually trade those, you know, obituaries is what they're called back and forth and, you know, like sit up bounties and be like, hey, I killed this player at this place. Go get his stuff. Bring it back. or give you a reward. All that sort of stuff. So much cool stuff can be done with that, but we will need to keep the file on the bottom left and keep and save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. 
Now we minimize our browser here. On my desktop, I do have just enough items, storage drawers, and gravestones. Now again, we don't just need to install these on our server. We're gonna do that first, but we also need to install these on our Minecraft locally, right? So we're gonna be going and doing both of those here in this video just to show you how to do both of them, assuming you've already got Forge installed and your Forge server set up. But nevertheless, if these aren't on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. Click on the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen most likely, but click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads, you'll have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and then in here you'll find these mods that you want to install. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Then go ahead and open up your Forge server folder, the folder that all of your main Forge files are in for your server, and then find the mods folder. And here it is, this mods folder. Double click on that, and then go ahead and just take all these mods, right? highlight them and drag and drop them into this mods folder. Now, we're not done with these, right? Because we also need to kind of copy and paste them into Minecraft. So what we're gonna do is copy them. So highlight them all, right click on them, press copy, then come to our desktop, right click and pe press paste. And it's going to paste these back on our desktop. So now they're both in the mods folder on our server here, right? This is our server mods folder. And now we can go ahead and open up Minecraft with Forge and get these installed in game as well. So we're gonna go ahead and click play on our Forge profile there. It's gonna open up the Minecraft Forge early loading process, and then it's gonna open up Minecraft with Forge installed, and we can get these mods added. Then we'll be able to start our server, join on in with Forge, and we'll be good to go. Now, everyone who plays on your server must also have the mods installed locally. So that's where something like a mod pack and stuff like that can come in handy, because everyone's gonna have the same mods no matter what. If you're just installing you know, a few mods like this, it's very easy to have your friends go download these three mods. However, if you have like 50, 60, 70 mods, you might consider making a mod pack, and then you know adding those in to that mod mod pack so it's easier for your friends to download it, but that is up to you. Nevertheless, once we're here, we can click on mods, and then we can click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Then we want to take all these from our desktop, just enough items, storage doors, and gravestones, and drag and drop them into the mods folder. Now, gravestone does say 1.16.1 here. It does work for 1.16.2, though. I have tested it. Nevertheless, we can close out of the mods tab there, click on done down here, click quit game, and as you all I'm sure know, we need to relaunch Minecraft, so let's go ahead and do that first. Once we've relaunched Minecraft, we'll confirm the mods are there, then we'll start our server up, and then we'll confirm they're in-game, and we're done, right? Simple stuff. Basically, all you need to do is drag them into the mods folder, and your mods will be installed on your server, assuming you have a Forge server set up. However, you also need to add the mods in single player, and that's something that I think a lot of people forget, that you actually do need to add these mods in single player, in addition to multiplayer and in your server, for them to work. If you don't want to have to have your users install anything and just have them join via vanilla Minecraft client with like nothing installed on it, well, then that's going to be what plugins are for. And that's where a paper Minecraft server can come in and then adding plugins to that server. But nevertheless, if we click on mods here, we'll be able to see we have Minecraft, we have gravestone, storage drawers, and just enough items all available there. Now let's go ahead and minimize Minecraft for a second, open up our Forge server folder, and double click on our run.bat file to get the Forge server starting right on up. Go ahead and move everything in view here. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of sit and wait. It will take a while to launch up your Forge server, right? Because it's got mods and it's recognizing those mods and things like that. So just let it take its time. I'll show you once it's done, we can join in game. There we go. As we can see, it says done here. That means we can join in game. If we click on multiplayer, look at that. Play.breakdowncraft.com. That might just be, it is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have green protected survival, custom skyblock, amazing, truly custom factions with small player based factions. Grief Protected Survival with 30 Custom Quests and Medieval Survival and an amazing Slash Shot based economy on Aquatic Survival. Just old school survival experience. And then we do have Skyblock as well, which is getting huge updates soon, but right now has amazing OP enchantments, custom islands, bench generators, and so much more. So come play with us. Play our breakdown craft.com as the IP. But nevertheless, here we're here to test a modded server. Sorry, everyone. It distracted me. It's just it's just such an amazing server. Why wouldn't it distract me? But nevertheless, once you're here, let's go ahead and click on the direct connection here. And then that is my local IP address. Basically, that's gonna allow us to join this local server. And then we join on in, you'll see I join in over here on the left hand side. And will confirm in game that things are basically working, right? That's kind of how that's going to work. So it seems like I died before I, <laughs> the last time I played on this server. However, here we are. Now I'm going to go ahead and opt myself. So I'm going to opt myself in this server. That way we can go into creative and see all of the different things that this has to add. So if we come in here, we can click over. We can see storage drawers, all the awesome storage drawer stuff here. Place all of these down. Build a house, we can store storage drawers in storage drawers. How weird is that? I think it's pretty weird, but you can do it. You've also got, you know, different things like here, like compacting drawers, and you've got drawer controllers and all sorts of stuff like that for sorting. And it's, it's just, it's a really, really cool mod, everybody. I'm not going to lie. Like, I really, really do think this is one of the cooler mods that is currently out there for 1.16.2. But nevertheless, that's just a little sample of it. There is so much more to it. But 
that's not what this mod's about. We're not showcasing this mod. We're showcasing that you can get mods on the server, and we are, in fact, in this server. There's me joining. There's me making me an operator. We are on this server. Awesome stuff. And we can see just enough items is definitely installed. We want to see how to craft a diamond block. We can do that. And if we want to see all the drawers, we can do that and see how to craft all of these different drawers in Minecraft. It's all here. It's all available in storage drawers, which is what's really cool, and specifically in just enough items. Now, gravestones, gravestones are here, as you can see, and they can actually be crafted as well, like this, with the dart on the bottom and the cobblestone on top. Then you can rename those in an anvil, but, but, we're right here at spawn, I believe, so let's go ahead and fly up and fall to our death, and I think that's the uh, best way that we're going to be able to test this. It's, it's gruesome, but it is just the truth that in order to test this, we kind of need to do game mode survival, and boom, fall to our death. There we go. And there's a gravestone appearing right there. And I believe we're going to be, yes, right here it is. Right there is our gravestone. Awesome stuff. And we do have an obituary here with our name, our dimension we died in, the date we died, and the location of the, you know, death, basically. Since our inventory was empty, it doesn't give us an item list, but that's okay. We break that. Nothing's going to happen because our inventory was empty. But if we go ahead and, I don't know, let's say get some dirt blocks, right? Let's go ahead and get some dirt blocks here and maybe few more maybe a block of sand as well yeah that'll do and now if we do that again so we're gonna go ahead and fly up and fall to our death how gruesome is that we'll be able to see that there is an item list on the obituary so let's go ahead and game mode survival and boom there we go we are given an obituary where we can respawn and boom we click next we can see we had an obituary on us we had three dirt and one sand and if we come over to our grave here we can actually click on it and get that stuff back. So awesome stuff there. That is how you can get mods on your server. There are tons of different fun mods for Minecraft servers out there. These are just a few of them, but they are all installed in the exact same way. Just drag and drop them into your mods folder, but don't forget to add them locally in your mods folder for Forge as well. That is a must in addition to adding them to your server. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.